Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to create clean and crisp line work in Clip Studio Paint. Let's begin. So, I'm going to create a brand new page. So, let's go to File, New, click OK. So, a new page is created. Now, by default, Clip Studio Paint automatically selects the page in a raster layer. Okay? Now, what we want to do is to create a new page in a new vector layer. So all you have to do, move on, move across to the box, which says new vector layer, click on it. Immediately, you will see a vector layer created. It is usually represented by a box here. If you can take a look right here. So that means we've created a layer in the vector layer. So what we are going to have to do, I'm going to pick my pen tool, all right, then I'm going to draw a square. I'm going to select uh, a size 300 for clarity. So I'm going to create my square right now. I've created my square. However, there are still some overlapping strokes. So what I can do, move over to the eraser tool, located on the left-hand side of the toolbar, then underneath the eraser tool, simply select the vector eraser. With the vector eraser selected, all you got to do is simply apply one stroke. And it cleans up the overlaps. Okay, so this is how to create very, very clean artwork in in the vector layer say we were to we, say we wanted to make clean artwork in raster layer let's see what happens so what we're going to do go to file go to new create a new page like i said automatically the page is set in a raster layer so let's take my pen tool let's create another imperfect square so what we want to do is to erase the overlaps. So let's pick an eraser tool. Let's pick size, uh, whatever size you want to pick, that's fine. Let's go to vector or any other eraser. So if we try to apply one stroke, it doesn't give you that clean, that clean cut look. You need to apply your dabs. You need to like stroke constantly. You need to brush it before it creates something. And as a professional graphic artist, time is of the essence. See? So that's why I would strongly suggest that you create your drawings in the vector layer. Okay? Hope this helps. Now, if there's anything you want to see, please put it down in the comment section. and I promise you, I will do my best to get back to you. And one more thing, if you can please subscribe to my channel, that will really help a lot. You take care now. Bye.